What's going on, everybody? Yes, that's right. I'm bringing my album thoughts videos back. I haven't for a while. I just got really, really busy, but I want to try to get back into it. And so for the first one back, we are going to be giving my thoughts on the new Solaris album called A Dance with Tragedy. Really like the name of that album, by the way. Really cool. Anywho, y'all know I like to start out with the cover art. There it is. Right there. Check it out. Take it in. Pretty cool. I like it. It's not too much to it. You know, you got the lady there, and it looks like she's surrounded by a lot of darkness. I mean, it kind of matches the, the name of the album, Dance with Tragedy. Seemed very artistic. You know, I dig it. The colors and everything, again, it kind of gives a foreboding kind of atmosphere. And she's in there almost, like, reaching out. I don't know if she's dancing, per se. But it seems like she's trying to escape or she's just caught in all of this tragedy or all of this misfortune or darkness. So, pretty cool. I like it. You know, again, very artistic. I like the colors and, and the style, the way it is. And it definitely gives off like a symphonic metal vibe, I would say, especially with the name Solaris. So I like it. Cool cover. Cool cover. I dig it. So this album is only nine tracks, and it comes in about 48 minutes, right there in that sweet spot. I, I usually kind of like around 45 minutes to an hour, kind of within that window there. Really nice. So this, this is right in that sweet spot. Nine tracks. So... Again, in my album thoughts videos, I, I don't so much as review or like get real technical with it. I more just kind of give, you know, my thoughts on it, you know, some takeaways, things like that, just to give you all an idea of what the album's all about and what I think of it. So, anywho, with that out of the way, this is just a really solid symphonic metal album. I mean, right when it starts out, uh, her voice, excellent, excellent. She's got a great range, very melodic. Um, and again, you know, right when this starts out, the thing with this album is it's very, it's, it's no frills, no frills symphonic metal. It, this isn't going to, it doesn't break any new ground. It's, it's not going to really surprise you or anything. Just kind of like a classic, female-fronted, no-frills, symphonic metal. But with that being said, it's very solid. Uh, it does great at what it does. So what you're going to get is a lot of those heavy, you know, chugging kind of guitar riffs going and then have like the really melodic choruses with some of the more symphonic elements coming in. A lot of that. A lot of that. One thing, though, all right, so vocals, really great. Really, really great vocals. Like I said, great range, good strength, really shines through, you know, amidst all of the, the music going on. Uh, guitars, one thing, I think, there's two, two highlights, I would say. One is her voice, and two is the guitars. The reason I say is the guitars, again, you get your real standard kind of symphonic metal ba -ba -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. heavy guitar riffs kind of going in there like real chunky, uh, you know, the way they like to do it in, in the genre, especially for like the verses and things like that. So you get that. So don't worry about it. That's there. But one thing that really actually surprised me is you get a lot of really cool melodic guitar riffs in here as well. Very cool. <laughs> Reminds me of the kind of guitar riffs you get in the, um, like that Swedish melodic death metal, like in Flames and Dark Tranquility, those kind of bands where they love doing the, you know, just the, the riffs that have a lot of the, the notes, you know, going intricate. You actually get quite a bit of that here. 
very that that's one of the most memorable qualities I would say from this album is it doesn't just yes you get your standard like I said chunky riffs but you also get quite a few really cool melodic guitar riffs in there as well that are separate from the guitar solos they're just you know the the riffs of the song and so that was really cool I really enjoyed that so that, that again yeah, that was a big highlight that was that was one of the things that really stood out to me aside from that however the rest of it is just like I said really solid symphonic metal but doesn't doesn't uh, reinvent the wheel here a few of my highlights I love the keeper um, that track really cool really cool and it incorporates some operatic uh, vocals in a handful of spots and, and that really really was cool and unfortunately this is really the only song that does that and I wish that that was incorporated a little more often I think it would have given a new dynamic for the album but in that song you get some of that oh, man, really cool and this song's got one of my favorite riffs in, in the whole album and then of course guiding light which i did a reaction to just a beautiful song and then promise me which might be my favorite track in the whole thing kind of takes things down a notch more of a ballad softer but oh my lord is it gorgeous it is just beautiful her voice just really shines there oh it is just an absolutely beautiful beautiful song honestly if, if you were to listen to just one song off this album that's the one i would say to listen to promise me that one stood out the most and again even though that's the the soft one on the album that, that's the the more ballad style but lord have mercy was it beautiful that again when i was first listening to this album you know i, I dug the keeper and all that stuff but when i heard promise me I, I went back and listened to that one a few more times before i even finished out the album and i guess that's my only critique on that song is like it's um, it's like three minutes and 40 seconds or something it's over before you know it I wish that song was longer, to be honest, because I was just really digging it. So, love that one. So you, you get that nice, beautiful, melodic, ballad-style, piano, whatnot song in here amidst some of the heavier symphonic songs. And that's pretty much what you get there, uh, without going into too terribly much detail. If, uh, so, I enjoyed it. I did enjoy it very very much again don't expect it to really break you know the genre barriers here but if you are looking for some it reminds me of a lot of the symphonic metal i used to listen to back in the mid 2000s and whatnot a lot of you know a lot of the within temptation not the earlier tempta within temptation but mid 2000s and on kind of if you're looking for some just classic no frills female fronted symphonic metal that is very solid and done really really well don't miss this don't miss this album because that's for you if you're looking for some symphonic metal that really kind of plays with the genre and really kind of thinks outside the box and has a lot of real creative ideas in there this one may not scratch the itch but it's really solid for what it is again great musicianship fantastic vocals and it's just again just some solid solid symphonic metal it won't leave you disappointed if you're a symphonic metal fan so good stuff i really enjoyed it i listened to it a few times and that's that that's solaris and a dance with tragedy and I guess you all might be asking, so final thoughts, should you take that dance? The answer is, I would. I would. I took the dance. I enjoyed it. But nobody stepped on my toes, so 
take the dance. Take, take it for a spin. That's what I got to say. If you listened to it already, let me know what you thought in the comments below, and I'll catch you all next time. Thanks for tuning in. Ranger, out.